Hi everybody. What exactly is a machine learning model? At a high level, a machine learning model is an algorithm or a set of algorithms that are designed to learn patterns from data and make informed predictions or generate new content based on those patterns. But let's break that down a bit. A machine learning model is similar to a very attentive student that gets better with practice. Imagine showing a student thousands of examples of a task until he starts to understand the rules behind it. This is essentially how a machine learning model works. It observes data, learns the patterns within that data, and then uses those patterns to make predictions or generate new content. It's all about recognizing and replicating the patterns that are already present. The broader idea here is that a machine learning model is essentially a tool for automating complex tasks by learning from data. To sum it up, a machine learning model is like a digital apprentice. It takes in a lot of data, studies it, learns patterns, and then applies what it learned to create something new or to solve a problem. Key terminology. Let's go over some key terminology that will help you grasp how machine learning models are used. First, we have neural networks. These are the backbone of many machine learning models. This structure is inspired by the structure of the human brain. The structure is designed to recognize patterns in data, such as visual images or text. Think of neural networks as layers of interconnected nodes that process data step by step, allowing the model to learn complex features. Next, we have datasets, which are collections of data that the model uses for learning. Training is the process by which a model learns from the data set. During training, the model adjusts its internal parameters to minimize errors, learning the patterns and rules that allow it to perform a task well. An algorithm is the set of rules or instructions that guide how the model learns. Machine learning algorithms enable the model to interpret data and make predictions. Now, Let's dive deeper into how machine learning models are used specifically for creating content. Generative models are a category of machine learning designed to create new content based on the data they've been trained on. Unlike predictive models, which forecast outcomes based on existing patterns, generative models actually generate new content. This could mean anything from character dialogue producing music for a game environment, or even building entire story arcs. Generative models come in various forms. Transformers are better suited for understanding and generating sequential data, such as dialogue, text, and even sequences of actions. Diffusion models are another type of generative model often used for generating high quality images. They work by starting with random noise and gradually refining it into a coherent image through a series of steps. These models have gained popularity for tasks like images and creative visual generation because of their ability to produce highly detailed and stylized results. Diffusion Models in AI Images Diffusion models work by gradually transforming random noise into a meaningful output such as an image or video, by following a stepwise process. Initially, the model begins with a noisy, chaotic version of an image, and through a series of iterations, it diffuses the noise, effectively refining and reconstructing the data to form a visually coherent and highly detailed result. One of the key advantages of diffusion models is the ability to produce intricate textures and subtle details. In the context of AI images, diffusion models are used to create hyper-realistic visuals. These models can generate anything from natural landscapes to fantastical settings. Diffusion models can be conditioned on specific prompts, allowing for creative control over the style, composition, and subject matter of the generated imagery. Beyond visual generation, diffusion models are also being explored for their use in multimodal AI. I, combining images with text or audio 
to create fully immersive media experiences. For instance, diffusion models could be used in conjunction with transformers to generate both the visuals, the storyline, and the dialogue of a film simultaneously. For my specific research, this type of integration opens up new possibilities for interactive storytelling, where both the narrative and visual elements evolve in response to user input. Large Language Models, LLMs, for text generation. Large language models get most of the attention these days. LLMs like GPT-4 from OpenAI are designed to understand and generate text by predicting the next word in a sequence, based on the context provided. These models are trained on vast amounts of text data, ranging from books and articles to conversations, allowing them to learn the nuances of language, including grammar, tone, and context. The core functionality of LLMs lies in their ability to understand language patterns, which makes the models effective at creating coherent and meaningful text. In storytelling, LLMs can be used to generate dynamic story branches in video games. Imagine a role-playing game where the player's choices significantly alter the course of the story. LLMs can be used to generate these branching narratives on the fly, making each player's experience unique. For example, if a player chooses to ally with a certain character, the LLM can create new dialogues, plot twists, and outcomes based on that decision, creating a more immersive and responsive narrative experience. Consider the interactive story where player choices directly influence how the story unfolds. LLMs can help create dialogue that feels organic and adapts to the evolving storyline. If a player makes a specific choice that requires a character to respond with empathy or anger, the LLM generates dialogue that fits those emotions seamlessly. This dynamic storytelling keeps players engaged as the narrative feels personalized and responsive to their actions rather than being limited to pre-scripted responses.